What's good everyone? Greg with North Coast Baseball Cards and in this video we're going to be doing a response for my good buddy RuDog21. He is doing an awesome giveaway on his channel. Uh, RuDog is an awesome member of this community and has an amazing Roberto Clemente collection. I enjoy watching all his videos and they're always must watch as soon as they come out for me. So please go check his channel out and drop a sub for him. He also has an awesome Derek Jeter collection. Uh, just a great guy and a great member of the community. So in his video response, he asked us to show our favorite Clemente, Derek Jeter, or favorite PC card. I love my Clementes, and um, I couldn't decide between two cards. <laughs> so I will show those both that are my favorite. He also wanted to know what Clemente did on July 25th, 1956. And he was the only player to do this. So what he did back then was he actually hit a walk-off inside the park Grand Slam in a 9-8 victory over the Cubs at Forbes Field. So that happened in 1956, so it's only fitting that one of my favorite cards is Mr. Clemente's second year card. Uh, this is the 1956 and a PSA 4. It is the white back. Uh, another reason why I like this card so much, it is his second year card, and it's very similar to his rookie card. <laughs> that still haunts me that I do not have it still. And with kind of how card prices have skyrocketed recently, it's probably a long-term goal. I'm going to wait for things to calm down, if they ever do. But this is one of my favorite cards. My second favorite Clemente card I have in a PSA 7 is his 1973 Topps card. So this is not only um, his first base action card, but it's also the last card before he passed away, unfortunately. So this card has a lot of meaning to me. I love the picture. I love 19, the 73 Topps design. So this is definitely um, a tie between my 1956 and 1973. Um, but anyways, uh, make sure you guys go check his channel out. Great guy, great content. Um, so in my next video, I'll probably be doing a hobby, um, another discussion like I did before, um, and kind of give you guys a channel update on where things are going moving forward. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.